All right, in episode number 28, we're going to be putting together a Walters kit. This particular one is called Red Wing Milling Company. It's one I had a lot of fun with and I want to share with you guys. First thing you'll notice when you open up this Walters kit is it's got lots of parts. Lots of parts. And you want to clean these parts because plastic parts generally have a mold release on them, which is a silicone, I think, something like that. And then you got to think about whether you want to paint them. Now they do come in different colors but I generally always paint my kits just because it makes them look better it's dollar co color and there's as I said lots and lots and lots of different parts so you gotta think about which parts are gonna be what color. One of the things I like about this kit is all of these parts are exceedingly well thought out well designed has lots of detail already molded in it now when you remove these parts from the the backing make sure to use a flush mounted cutter don't ever break them off it damages the parts so always make sure to take the time to cut them off and then of course you want to clean all the edges before you start putting them together it just goes together better if you take a little more time now as far as gluing is concerned less is better use the least amount of glue possible to hold something together Moving right along, you'll notice that the inside of the walls have been painted black because I anticipate putting lighting in here. And if you're going to have lighting, you don't want your building to glow. So what you do is you paint the inside. Now after putting the glass in, I like to put, well, I like to call them window shades. It takes in, keeps you from being able to see all the way through the building, the old empty building thing. Now it's time to start doing some of the trim, and I like to make sure that as much of the trim I can get painted as possible before you put it together it just makes it easier to work with. Now, As you notice I use different kinds of paints for different areas. I find that most of the time I like acrylics but once in a while I do use the testers. I don't like the smell of it but it does a really good job. And then once again getting back to putting all the parts together use the least amount of glue as possible. That way you won't have any unsightly big globs when you get done. Of course you want to make sure it's square and and trim make sure everything fits correctly before you put the glue on all right moving right along it's time to put the roof in and you'll notice all my handy helpers I always have lots of rubber bands and weights and things to push against it's time to start putting the auxiliary buildings together this kit is a series of a number of different buildings that you put together to make one large one once again make sure everything fits correctly before you start using any glue make sure it looks right before anything gets finished now it's time for the smokestack that was kind of a little bit of a bugger to get that one put together but it came out alright now this is an incandescent, incandescent light bulb rather than an LED and I always like to make sure to glue these lights in place because the incandescents get hot and can melt your plastic and of course we're putting another roof on here Another thing I like to do is add lights over the doors, which means you got to drill holes and put lights in and stuff like that. So think ahead before you start drilling. If you choose to use incandescent bulbs, make sure to put a resistor in it so they're way less intensity. And they work still just fine and they're cheap and put a little aluminum foil over it and it only shines down. And there's, oh look at that! Hey, well it's moving along nicely but it certainly is not done yet. There's lots of detail, there's lots of stuff, but it looks way too brand new. Let's get on it. Let's start making it look weathered a bit. I love my weathering powers. The powders work just great. Put a little of this on there, a little of that. Okay, how about the worker bees? They need a place to go have a break. So put some tables or something. Just put stuff on there. And all those connectors for the parts, what are you going to do? Well, you can use them for all kinds of stuff, like tubes use them okay how about the loading docks you gotta put stuff in the loading docks you gotta put people you gotta put stuff you gotta make it look like something's going on so put this and that who cares what's there just load it up that's what makes it looks good come on that's better isn't it I have no idea what those things are off to the right but they look good that's all about what we're doing okay they're moving them they're pushing them, they're pulling them. That's what you want to think about when you put together your scenes. What are these people doing? Ah, here are the people having lunch. Do it. 
Make your scene. Make a story to go along with your scene. It always is better. So what do you think? Pretty cool. It came out great. These Walther's kits are just the best. I've done a bunch of them. And if you want a fun project, you gotta buy from Walther's. They're the best. And think about what you want. Think about what you want it to look like. What do you want? That's what it's all about. Come back and see me again here at Murphy the Blossom of the Wine World. And how about a look at where I work? This is my workspace. Yeah, tiny little spot, but it works just fine. Have fun. Come back, see me again. Bye-bye.